Hello, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Yeah, it's a habit, you know, when you say good morning. <laughs> How are you? How was your day today? It was an amazing day for me, teacher. I was doing a lot of errands in my house. Yeah, today was very hot, right? Yeah, yeah. For such reason, I go out. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> and, and the traffic was very nice today? Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh, no, it's normal, I think. Oh, in my end, I felt the traffic a little, a little heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let me see more people. You know, something, there's something new. If I have to check on the settings because now, I have to admit everybody. And before, it was just automatically. Yes. It is so, a little troublesome to enter now. Yes, because uh, I'm sorry, this happened yesterday and today. That's why, it was, where is everybody? Because, but I, I, I will check the settings today after class. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So we're going to start. Everybody okay? Everybody cool today? Okay. Yes, we are. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Everything is okay. Okay. So remember, remember what I told you yesterday. All right. So... Let's. Uh, if we want to speak more, let's try to use complete sentences, no short sentences. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Eh. No. Well, well, We'll do more complete sentences. Let me share my screen with you. Okay. Do you see the screen? We're about to begin a new course. We yes, want you to hear. Can you hear? Yes, teacher. All right, cool. Yes. Yes, yes I hear. I hear. Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank hear. You. Okay, so listen to the story. Don't get scared. Ooh. Okay. Keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. Okay, Mr. Raphael, how many people are there in the camp? Where are they? Uh, I don't know. Where do you think they are? I think they are. For example, are... they are not in a mall, correct? No. So they where do you are think they're? In the in the camp. Okay, in the camp. Okay, I, I understand what you're trying to say. Do you? Who knows the word where they are at? Uh, they are in a forest. In the forest or the woods? Yeah. Woods. Like wood, the madera Third, and plural wood. woods. Yeah, yeah. That's that's woods. how you say it. They're okay. in the woods. All right. How many men are there, Patricia? Uh, actually, in this moment, there are no any men. But uh, after uh, a pair, one man. Ah, oh, man, you you don't give spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Very good. Yes. So I'm actually, sorry, no, no, it's okay. No, but very good answer. <laughs> That's what I want. I want you to speak. Very good. So, so far there are no men. All right, just three women. Okay, good. Now I will leave it. I will not interrupt anymore. Okay. Hey, and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey 
Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead, Bride. So, how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then, Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But, the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore. Really? But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, real quick. I know it's a little silly, the, the, the video, the story, but the important thing is that did you understand it? Yes or no?
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. We are yes, teacher. teacher. All right. So, in your opinion, yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Thank you, Yancy, Yvette. In your opinion, who is Ted? Is he dead? <laughs> Living. He's alive. Yes, he's alive. Oh, why do you think he's alive? His name is Ted. <laughs> okay, but did you hear the story that women were telling? Did he you hear this? He disappeared, but always he's around in the in the, the pool. Okay. So okay, very good. In your opinion, he did not die. Yes, he, he did. Okay. All right. This is a very uh, normal tradition in the United States when you go to the woods to tell mm -hmm. scary stories. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, no, right? In El Salvador, we get drunk and listen to cumbias <laughs> in the woods. What, what does mean cookie stories? Spooky. Spooky. No, uh, you pronounce the S. Spooky. Spooky. Yes. Spooky is a synonym, synonym, synonym for scary. Okay. Okay, See? thank you. Yeah, so you can say, man, that's spooky. <laughs> yes, that person is spooky. Have you noticed that women, um, I'm sorry, people who work in funeral parlors, they are spooky? Excuse me? Like, All right, in the chat, please. Excuse me? You're right. The words in the chat, please. Oh, sure. Okay. Spooky. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's actually like this, spooky. But you know, since it's Halloween, people say spooky. Oh. No, what I'm saying is like, have you ever gone to a cemetery or a funeral? Yeah. And the people yeah. that work there, they're very spooky. Yeah, yeah. All of them. Yeah, it's like it's like maybe they see the dead so many times, so every day that they become, <laughs> they look like them at the end. All right, let me see now. Let's see what's next. Okay, now we're going to do time clauses used in context. <laughs> First of all, do you know what a clause is? It's a phrase has a subject, verb, noun, I think. Okay, it has a, uh huh. What else? They tell the time. So there are expressions that tell tells the time. Okay. Now let me see. Tell me if you see my screen. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, yes. so look. Yes. Is I, I put down in Google. What is a clause in grammar? It says, it's a group of words containing a subject and a predicate and functioning as a member of complex. See complex entry two, uh, I don't like that example. So let's see what is a, let's see this. A clause, like a phrase, is a group of words. But unlike a phrase, a clause is pretty complete. A clause is a group of words that complains a subject and a predicate. 
I like that explanation better. Yes, of course. Yes. So listen, this is the tip. When you don't understand something, like for example, what I did right now in Google, you know, and then you go to Google and you say, what is a grammar? Uh, so look, look at this explanation. It's a group of words containing a subject and a predicate and a functioning as a member complex. See complex entries two, sense one, or a compound. See compound entry three. Sentence, blah. You know, you read everything and you say, what the hell? I still don't understand. So what do you do? Go to the next option. That's the beautiful thing about internet. You will find one that you will understand. The reason, the reason why I'm telling you to um, to remember what a clause is because you will see clause, the the word clause, forever in English. In this case, we have a time clause, we have a relative clause, we have an if clause. There are clauses for everything. So now we have a time clause. So what do you think that is? We're going to have the clause, the group of words, they're going to be related to a time. Yeah. All right, so let's see that right now. Okay, I want to see more people are. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A, <clears throat> listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Okay. Although it didn't really explain what is a time clause, but if I ask you, why do you think it's called a time clause? What gives it away? When we use the, the, the word when, the when word, I exactly, when I was. Yes. All right, yes. Um, Patricia Eretta, doctor, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, excuse me for the question. Are you married? Yes, teacher, I am married. Okay, good. Can you tell me what did you used to do when you were single that uh, now you don't well when, when 
I don't know. I, I have to think. Hmm. No, it's, it doesn't have to be something complicated. Like it can be something simple. Like when I was single, I used to. When, when I was single, I, I was studying in the university and I was um, a, <laughs> a good student and I only studied every day. And after, uh, when I was married, I have to do some <laughs> works at the house. Okay. <laughs> so basically, when you were single, you didn't have many responsibilities, only study. Uh, basically, yes. I was studying and I was living with my parents and uh, mm, but I learned to do uh, very much mm, houseworks. Okay, all right, very good. All right, good. Can you ask can you ask somebody here you choose using when you were? It doesn't necessarily mean, let's let's try not to repeat the question. So no more when you were single. Now we can say when you were a baby, when you were, um, when you were a little boy, five years ago, 10 years ago, when you were in high school. Like for example, when I was in high school, I used to have long hair long hair, um, every color, blue, green, purple, I think pink too, everything. I used to put makeup, <laughs> but now I am normal. All right, so Patricia, ask somebody please. Um, I want to ask uh, Blanca Natalia. Uh, yeah. uh, how can I I ask uh, when you were a teenager, how was your life? What are your responsibilities? Good. Okay. What were? Yes, when I was a teenager, uh, my responsibility was to study, like you. Uh, but I had a lot of hobbies. I love to play music, and I want. I I was a, an athlete, uh, and I also uh, was learning how to sew. Uh, oh. So I didn't like to be at home, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I was so uh, how do you say? You were very you were very active. Yes. What yes, instruments? Was, what instruments do you play? <laughs> I, I didn't hear. What instruments? You said you like music. So oh, what instruments? Oh, oh yes, um, I play the 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 uh, the little piano. Because in my in 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 the school I I I I study they had a a small group. Okay. So I started playing the marimba, and then I I moved to the organ and then to, to the uh, piano. Uh -huh. okay. And I finished playing the bass, the ba the bass. Really, the bass. Yes. <laughs> And what kind of music? Like classical music, rock music? No, no, no. No, no. no we, we played, uh, for example, uh, the, the pop pop music. Oh, pop okay. music, Michael Jackson, or, or uh, I don't, I remember, I will survive, something like that. I don't yes. remember that. Uh -huh. Once I was afraid, I was petrified. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you used to play Michael Jackson? 
Yeah, we, we were playing one, one song for Michael Jackson, yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's interesting. Very nice. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Can you ask somebody, please, the question? Okay. Janet, <laughs> uh, when you were at, I don't know if, if you, uh, did you study at the university? Uh, no. No. Okay. When you were at, at, at high school, uh -huh, what did you like to do the most? Well, uh, when I was at high school, I used to go with my friends to a little park uh, in our uh, free times. And we uh, spend our times uh, talking and doing some things, uh, many things uh, that Drinking. we like to do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when you we, go to a park in high school, it's... yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you see, I told you. <laughs> so we um, listen uh, listen to music. Uh, someone of they um, liked and uh, to dance, and they dance in a little group, and we. Uh, go to to do porras <laughs> i don't know they're called uh, rallies yeah rallies rallies rally r-a-l-l-y -L -L a rally okay rally. <laughs> like a school okay. rally um you did you study in san salvador yes okay i'm sorry Jeanette. if i may ask how old are you i'm 30 37 30 37 years old. Oh, okay. uh, in a few days, I'm going to be uh, 38 years old. In November? No, in October. Oh, nice. 31. Uh, no, no, no. 20, 21, oh. actually. You know, it's funny. My, my birthday, my birthday is November too. Oh. And um, I had an ex ex girlfriend. Her birthday was October 31. So, oh, my God. <laughs> yes, uh, we always we always joke that, hey, if we have a, a baby, if it's a girl, it's Morticia. If it's a boy, it's Frankenstein. So. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> yeah, Frankie. Her friend, yeah, we always, she's still my friend. I have her in Facebook. She's my friend now. But it was funny because she was Halloween. I was the Day of the Dead. <laughs> yes all right no the reason why i ask you is because um i am 44 so you know i i remember those high school days that you know you go to the park smoke mm -hmm. cigarettes oh, smoke no. cigarettes we didn't do it uh, smoke cigarettes drink beer go to parties everything it was good days it was very good days back then Yes. Okay. So, Jeanette, can you please ask somebody, but now ask a man. Okay. I'm going to go with Walter. Okay. <laughs> Walter, um, what do you do uh, with your life uh, to 15 years ago? Oh, my God. So, what were you doing? Ago. What were you doing 15 years yeah. ago? Repeat the question, please. What were you doing 15 years ago? Oh, 15 years ago, uh, I was I was working a lot in a in a in a bank, a we call a bank, in order to reach my goals. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Walter. Thank you. Your turn, Walter. Yeah. Ask somebody, please. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Joaquin, uh, when you when you were in the high school, what is what were your favorite subject? 
Okay. Uh, when I was when I was uh, in high high school, um, my favorite subject uh, or a person. I don't know subject? what. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, what. Subject. Uh, what does that mean? Subject. Subject. Yeah. Subject. Subject is like science, mathematics, yeah. history. Subject. So, okay. Uh, my my favorite subject uh, when I when I was started in high school were, was uh, mathematic. Wow. Yes. And another another topic um, in my case was. Um, uh, Contabilidad. Accountability. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really, really hated mathematics. And <laughs> even now I, I I don't like it. Yeah, I, I love I love mathematics. Yeah, I hate numbers. I I have a problem. I forgot the name of that problem, but I have a problem with numbers. Uh, that sometimes maybe Blanca knows. Sometimes I get <laughs> I, I get I get blank. Mago yeah. bolas in, in something very simple. I'm not good with numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after that, uh, I I decided uh, to study uh, in the university. Uh, in my my career was a uh, uh, public accountant. Wow! Yes. Amazing. Because yeah. it's is no how do you say relacionada? Related, to, related, uh, related uh, with but uh, with the number. No, yeah. related to numbers. Related to number. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Joaquin, well, ask somebody now. Uh, let me see, uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yes, I am. Here, uh, tell me. Okay, Sandra. Where is Sandra? What I don't do see you her. remember when when you was uh, oh, when you was um, when I uh, worked? Teenager. Where? A teenager. Ah, when I was teenager. See. Yes. Okay. You were teenager. Oh my God. Um. Well, when I was a teenager, um, I used to go uh, walking and walking from my house to the to school because I I used to live in, in Mejata, but not in the city, in the in, but in the countryside. Okay. And and I had to, to walk to and walk and walk to to get a, a bus and then reach San Salvador. Because I started in San Salvador. And and when Wow, I, you walked from the Hapa to San Salvador? Yes, of my course. God. I did. Yes. It you did. don't use bus? Where <laughs> is San Patricio's, San Patricio's neighborhood? No, now I live in San Patricio's neighborhood. My my ha, my life has changed. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember, Joaquin, you're talking about her teenage, you said high school. Yes. Yeah. I went, uh -huh, I'm, I'm speaking about my teenager, my, when I was a teenager, right? Yeah. Yes. And, what is a teenager, Sandra? Do you know what is a teenager? When does it start and when does it finish? Yes, of course. When we begin with 13 years old and then we finish when we are 19 years old. Yes, very good. Everything mm -hmm. that has teen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, of course. And wow, well, teacher, um, by the way, yesterday we were, uh, we were uh, speaking about simultaneous interpretation and translator. Uh, yes. What is the difference? Well, the difference is, is with when inter, uh, someone is speaking in English, uh, the interpreter is simultaneously speaking in Spanish, right? Then, and the translator is generally only <clears throat> uh, with documents. A translator. No, not really. No, not Are, yet. Not really. Be, it can be document or verbally. Oh, yes. 
Uh -huh, but uh, well, I received the curse uh, in, in the oh. institution over there, you know, and and they said that a translator is only with documents, and an interpret interpreter is speaking. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They, uh, the, so uh, that's a parenthesis, you know. No, no, no. That, that's very good. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. But now it becomes a little bit more, more complicated because when you translate, now you have to speak. So imagine, imagine I am in front of the person that I'm, I'm translating the documents. Oh, yeah. I have to, if I'm physically there with the two parties, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I would have to speak, so then then it becomes interpreting. That's why, but very interesting. Good. Yes, of um, course. Right. I have a question, Rafael. Are you a car collector? Yes, 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 I am. Yeah, I see your collection in the back. I like the car and the airplanes. Oh, really? Yes. But do you make them? Do you paint them or you just buy them? No, I just buy them. Okay. How many do you have? Um, maybe 30, 35. But are there like specific cars that you buy? Classical cars, modern cars or? A classic car. Ford, Mustang, uh, Chevrolet. Oh, okay. Uh, Volkswagen, Scarabajo. Do you go to those stores? I am thrift stores, thrift stores. Let me put that on the chat. Okay. I am a fanatic of those. Thrift. Thrift stores or thrift shops, they're actually shops. Let me get, I'm going to mention one name and everybody will understand, a premium. Okay. Hennessy's, uh, Imperio Usa, I don't see, you know those? Yes, yes, I know, okay. I know them. I am, I am a fanatic of those stores. Really? Yes, because, um, but it's not for the clothes. I like I like looking at the technology or or cristaleria or things like that, man. And I like to collect things. And I see that many people go there and they buy cars. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, for example, look at this. This is a tom tom. It's an original. It's un remo. It's a tom tom. Tom Tom, okay. So like, it cost me two dollars. Can you play it? No, I don't. But sometimes I have it next to me because it's, it relaxes me. It's very <laughs> okay. Very when I'm sure. watching TV or something, uh, you know. But you know, eventually. So I recommend you to go to those stores, Rafael. There's a lot of um toys there. Okay, I'm really to rec. I I'm I'm going to to busy the start. Yeah, when I go there, I like to go alone because I like to see everything, you know, cables, whatever, you know, <clears throat> cameras, old cameras, and it's beautiful, it's nice. Okay, Okay. thank you. Okay, since this class is a little big, we understand what a time clause is, correct, class? Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, yes. cool, nice. Okay, let's see what is next here. It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will learn to use the subordinating, subordinating conjunctions. What is that? Let's see. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? 
graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. <laughs> Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Do you understand? Do you understand what is the expression turning point? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It could always be in past, like, like, um, oh, important point. I think. Yes. It's like, um, Punto de reflexión in mm -hmm. Spanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. I used to drink and I stopped drinking after I had an accident. Example, right? That's a turning point. So I used to drink, or when I was younger, I used to drink, but I said I used to, so that means I don't do it anymore. Yeah. So what was the turning point? Because I had an accident or because I got sick. That's a turning point. Okay. So it says here, match the clauses with the appropriate information. Choose the best answer. So by the time I was 15, what do you think is the correct one? I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. I learned how to communicate better. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Yeah. Is that one? I think. Yes. Yes, I can learn. So uh, let me ask you a question. Neto. <laughs> <laughs> Neto, are you a father? Did you say Neto or Beto? Oh, Beto. I'm sorry. It's Beto. <laughs> That's what I didn't ask him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. Are you a father? <laughs> Not yet, but I will be. Maybe. <laughs> what, do <you> mean? <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? You're waiting? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my God. Wait, I, I'm not going to ask. Yeah. Wait, are you happy? <laughs> yes, I'm happy. I have a girlfriend, but I think uh, have a baby is a responsibility. And it is. So, I mean, yeah. Big responsibility. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I remember my father. We are seven brothers. Imagine. My God. Wow. wow. Don't have seven children, though. No. Have one, two the most. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're not a father yet. Who is a father here? Me, teacher. You're a father, Joaquin? Yes. Oh, Miguel, Miguel, you're a father, too? No. No yet. Amilcar, you're a father? Not the juror. I heard three people say me. <laughs> hey, <what> <laughs> me, Rafael. Oh, Rafael, you're a father. I have any how many children. Yes. How many children do you have? Two. 
One boy and one girl. One girl. Was it difficult um, for you to, I, I don't know. I mean, this is from a personal experience. Did, did you accept immediately that you were a father? Like the first, with the first baby? Yes. No, no, but let me, let me explain to you what I, what I mean. When my son was born, uh -huh. I felt strange. I mean, I loved him with all my heart, but every time I saw him, every time I saw him, I don't know. I, I never accepted the fact that, wow, this is my son. I didn't know that, that big responsibility of being a father. When I knew, when I knew that I became a father was, it was fast. Mm -hmm. It was when my son cries, cry. Well, you know, when babies, they cry. And when I held him, he stopped crying. It's because he recognized me. You know how they recognize the father and the mother? And yes. that's when I knew I was a father. You know, it's like, wow, he recognized me. I felt so happy because <laughs> my baby recognized. Yeah, I, I mean, simple to me, not like my baby. Uh, it was uh -huh. a baby. I play with him. But when, when, when he recognized me, it's like, oh, my God. That was my turning point. That's when I said, oh, my God, I am a father. Did, you, did that okay. happen to you or immediately when you, when your baby when, was born? When I saw my daughter, uh, I, I was in shock and, and I recognize that I am a father and yeah. a big, a, and a big, and a big responsible. Yes. I was in shock maybe for six weeks. <laughs> 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 yes, I was. I was like maybe three months. <laughs> maybe three months, yes. No, really. I, I I don't know how to explain that. It wasn't something bad, but it's like I was so happy with my baby, but I didn't I don't know, no me caía veinte. You know how we say it. Until like my baby would get happy or recognize me. I'm okay, I'm a father. Okay. Uh for mothers, I imagine it's different because you have the baby inside of you for nine months. So you have nine months to prepare. Yeah, you have nine months to to uh, assimilate the, the idea. Yes, it's true. Not in my case, teacher. Why? Because um, I didn't uh, get married. And uh, I have to adopt a, a child, and uh, I was mother the it, the one day to uh, another day. <laughs> I oh was, my God! Okay, that's interesting. Yes, when when the uh, the lawyer uh, give me the, a baby of um, he 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 are he was. Uh, Two months when I give you when I when I when I received when I a received baby. him a baby yes and uh, uh, my life changed all of... <laughs> immediately immediately uh -huh. so when 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 the lawyer gave you the baby did you feel immediately oh my God he's mine or yeah no? and uh, inside of me. Uh, was born a, a special sense of love to that baby because okay. I was uh, <clears throat> I was uh, it was my the cell the cell uh, the the it was my dream it was it was my my it dream it was my dream uh, to be a to be a mother a mother mother I was three 37 years old. Oh my God. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. How old is your baby now? My baby uh, is 18 years old. Patricia, you, how, excuse me, how old are you? 
I am uh, 55 years old. You look very young. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, you maybe, look younger. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's why I was what? Look like wait, wait, yeah. no. wait a minute. I was going to ask Joaquin to help me with numbers <laughs> because <laughs> you have a, yeah, you look very young. Thank you. Uh, maybe okay. because I, I never was um, really mother. <laughs> No, it's not that. No, but no, you are a mother. Hey, very good, nice. And and your so your son, he's not your baby. Oh yeah, he's your baby, right? Imagine when your baby has a baby. Uh, mm, yes, my baby. Oh, repeat me, please. The the answer. No, okay. So no, I'm telling you. Imagine when your son has a baby. Ah, okay. Yes, I. I imagine um, there yeah. are many years. When you are going to grandmother, <laughs> you will be a grandmother. <laughs> that, that's very good. Me too. I would love to adopt someday. I really want to adopt. I, I always wanted to adopt because, but it's, it's very difficult. But interesting. All right. Hey, nice. Thank you. Nice to understand that. Okay, so let's do number two. Until I started working part-time. What is until? Hasta. Hasta. Until Hasta that que. point, until that moment, until that day, until that hour, yes? Yeah. Like, for example, watch TV until 7.30 and then go to bed. Until, at that time, you stop. So until I started working part-time, what happened? I began to understand the value of money. Yes, another action happened. I that, yes. I think uh, I have never saved Save any, money. any money. Me too. I have never saved any money. Okay. Oh, yeah. That okay. But listen, class, Um, don't worry about it because... También esta is correct. Yeah. This one is Adrian. correct too. Hmm. Right. Uh, even, I, even, even this one is correct. I believe that there are there are several uh, answers yes, that, there are. Are, that are right. However, uh, I believe the, the, the second is the right. This one? But yes. lo que hicieron, cuál es, which one was the correct one? I have to say very, I have never saved. I have money. never saving any money. Saving any money. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Until I started working, this might sound funny to you, but it's not. Until I started working as an interpreter, I realized that. El Seguro Social in El Salvador is not bad. Why? <laughs> Why not this bad? Yeah, yeah, I told you, I told you, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Patricia. Patricia. <laughs> no, 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 let me ask you why, because it's universal. You can, you can say the truth. <laughs> no, no, you know why? Because, okay, like, for example, in the, in the, that, that's what I'm saying, because until I started working with doctors in the United States and, and, so, and, and social um, and insurance, seguros, uh, yeah? Uh -huh. yeah. I realized that Seguro Social in El Salvador is not bad because in the United States, you need insurance, but you have to yeah. have dental insurance, pediatra, pediatrician insurance, general mm -hmm. doctor insurance. But what happens? Imagine my son. Oh, si, tengo insurance para pediatra. But my son has a problem with his heart. Ah, okay. Oh. But uh, imagine this example, right? Yeah, so yeah. The, the heart doctor uh -huh. is a specialist. And that's not covered by the, by the insurance. So I have to pay a specialist. Hundreds or thousands of dollars. Uh -huh. I have dental insurance. Oh, okay. But I need un, un relleno. Oh, your insurance doesn't cover that because that's a speciality. <laughs> so you have to pay a endodoncista. So you're like, oh my God. So why do you pay? 
but like in El Salvador, yes, el seguro social, it's bad for something very basic, but it's very good for something very serious, I think. Um, my wife's, her boss, he had an open heart surgery. Free, gratis, I mean, covered by social, seguro social. My brother, he had an accident and he broke his leg in, in El Fobial. He broke his leg in eight parts. Oh my wow. God. And Sorry. they put and, Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. He was in bed for wow. one one year. They put like eight oh titanium God. titanium plates. El seguro lo cubrió. Like so I was like, wow. <laughs> in the United States, that's incredibly expensive. Y solo dice a uno, sí, pero esto no lo cubre su seguro. This does not cover. So in El Salvador is universal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So You're like, right. for example, las cesáreas, you know, like, oh, I, this is covered. So, <laughs> ah, sí, pero usted lo tuvo en cesárea y eso es una especialidad or something. That was a, no está cubierto una cirugía. So I have to pay for that. In El Salvador, I think it's the same. <clears throat> Normal birth or cesárea or whatever. So I don't know, this is my opinion because every day I, I, I Patricia, you cannot imagine el lo feo que son, los seguros gratuitos in, in the United States son peores que acá. Okay. Really, I promise you, I, I received calls. Sí, fíjese que estoy llamando porque quise, yo, yo tengo well care y quiero agendar una cita para mi hija que tiene fiebre, si está sangrando mucho. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, I would like to make an appointment for my daughter. She has a high fever and she has uh, dropping nose. Okay, okay. Y name, también son amargadas. What is your name? What is your number? Okay. We have a special, uh, tenemos marzo 2 a las 4 p.m. Is that okay? March. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> six months later. Mm. Yes, I promise you every day I, I, I listen to those stories and that's what I tell my wife or I tell my friends, hey, si hablas mal del seguro, really? <laughs> no estamos tan, tan bad compared to um, compared to other people. With other country. No, so in my conclusion, I think seguro social is very, like I said, it's very bad when it's something very basic. Okay. Like, oh, tengo gripe. I'm Five hours. <laughs> but, but it's also very, yeah. very good when it's something very serious. Imagine cancer. Yeah, yeah. You can get chemotherapy and everything uh, covered by el Seguro Social. Except In the United States, no. It's, ah, if it's like imagine, it imagine the COVID or Omicron. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So over there, it's you have to, it's an obligation that you have to pay insurance, seguro, you have to, but you choose. So for example, I choose, for example, well, it's my wife, my son, okay, voy a pagar pediatra, dental, and ginecología, all right? So my mm -hmm. wife, she goes and she needs a mammogram. Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, sí, pero it's not covered. Siempre le dicen, it's not covered, it's not covered, y es cierto. So you always have to pay a specialista. Y he tenido casos de salvadoreños que se han, quizás se acaban de ir y son los que más se enojan. ¿Qué? ¿Y por qué? Porque estaban acostumbrados mm -hmm. que aquí es seguro. Es universal, full covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, usando until. So until I started working as an interpreter, with doctors in the United States, I realized that maybe, maybe, maybe the social seguro social in El Salvador is not so, so bad, <laughs> you know, but only after I started, I started working with them. Yes, you know, like uh, today, this woman, me estaba 240 libras, Chiquita, she had arthritis. She had every possible thing. Y she was from the Dominican Republic. She was very big. She was very old. 
She had arthritis, diabetes. Oh my God, everything you can imagine. Y creo que le toca como en abril. <laughs> and she needs a surgery. Can you imagine that? Yeah. So that's why that's why medicine is a good business in the in the United States. Yeah. All right. Okay, so number three, the moment I got my first paycheck. I began to understand the value of money. Value of money. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the moment you got your first paycheck? What did you do? Um, I give I I I give you give uh, all the money to my mom. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, very Thank good. You. I yeah, did I something. <laughs> I did something very stupid with my first paycheck. Why? I invited all my friends to drink. Oh, good friend. Yeah. You are a good friend. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, I was, I was, yes. He was too they, much popular with your friends. No, they drink. Yeah. Like, hey, it's a tradition. Um, the verdad. Hey, you know, when you're drunk, yeah, otra, let's go. More, more. So almost my complete paycheck in one night. Wow. Wow. And, yeah, yeah, but you know, stupid. You know, when you're sometimes when you're young, you're stupid. But I learned. Después, cuando mis amigos empezaron a trabajar, I did the same thing. Hey, your first paycheck, invite everybody. Okay, number four. As soon as I left home, I release. I release that child anymore. I, I realized that take, I wasn't. I learned to take her myself. Yeah, I that one learned, too. I have learned to take care of myself. I have learned myself. how to take care of myself. No. I have learned how to take care of myself. I learned how to mm -hmm. learn better with mm -hmm. people. With people, yes. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, they're all, all, all those possibilities are applicable. Once I started sharing an apartment. I learned how to communicate. Uh, uh, I learned how terrible. to get along yes. better with people. I learned how to get along better with people. Yeah, this one, okay. After I began a relationship. Ah, I learned. To, I learned how, how to communicate better. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's correct. Yeah, that's true. How to communicate better? Learn. Before I traveled yes. abroad, no, I didn't appreciate, I didn't appreciate, my, appreciate my, my own country. country. Okay, so that could be my same example. Before I start, before I started working with doctors insurance in the United States, I didn't appreciate the insurance I have yeah, in El Salvador. <laughs> the insurance I have in El Salvador. Until I got really sick. I haven't understood the importance of health. I haven't understood the importance of health. The good health. Yes, I have. I have learned how to take care of. Okay. It's true because as I have learned this present tense. What? Here, let's do something easy. I realized. Show answers. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Uh, it's an opinion, but yes, class, they're all correct. As soon as. Okay, listen, tomorrow we're going to learn some time words. I'm going to explain to you the difference, and please remind me, okay? I'm going to explain to you the difference between in, on, at. The famous, like, in, on, by a in the in the room on the room or at the room so what is the correct way i will teach you that tomorrow okay okay, okay right. time words okay, thank you okay. all right thank you very much i will see you tomorrow 
Have a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.